You get all these things in the new Chevrolet. And it all comes out in, well, for example, the power to pull every other full-sized car on the market. 16 different makes from a dead start. Not just horsepower, road power. The most effective power at the rear wheel. That's what counts. And that's what the new Chevrolet has. And the proof? Torque talks. Dynamometers measure the torque output of every engine make. A special torque wheel replaces one of the regular rear wheels to measure the actual amount of torque delivered at the road. At all speeds and under all driving conditions, the result shows up on the torque meter. In fuel consumption tests, a device called a burette measures the exact amount of gas used at different speeds. And with split-second accuracy, the electronic time-distance oscillograph measures accelerating ability, automatically printing time, distance, and speed on paper tape. Interpreting the facts and figures gathered from such impersonal test equipment, the engineers take, for them, a very positive stand. Translated, this all means the new Chevrolet can outperform Ford and Plymouth six ways to Sunday. And the proof, again. A kind of match race, but under ideal conditions and using standard performance tests recognized throughout the industry. Three cars from comparable series price-wise and all equipped with standard V8 engines and automatic transmissions. All three drivers are professionals, members of NASCAR, National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing, and have no connection with any automotive company. They drew their cars by lot for the first test and will alternate thereafter. And for every test, the same instructions. Leave the transmission in normal drive. Ram the accelerator to the floor. These conditions rule out driver skill as a factor. They leave everything to the cars and the engineering inside them. Are you all ready? Ready for the first test. Accelerating ability. Watch the starting flag. Getting ready for a second run in the other direction. how it looks to be the leader. How it looks to follow the leader. And how it looks to bring up the rear. Now hill climbing ability. The 7% grade is about double the average grade on any public highway. And to hit 70 some miles an hour in a few seconds takes plenty of road power. The new Chevrolet does it easily. Ready at the start line. And on the much steeper 16% grade, the difference in effective road power is even more marked.
now take San Francisco's steepest hill. This grade was built to match it. It offers the toughest test of smooth, effective road power when you have to climb it from a standing start on the grade itself. And you heard that tire squeal? Here's where it came from. The transmission here is overgeared to compensate for an engine weak on starting torque. The result is poor traction under extreme conditions, even on dry pavement. The other car doesn't have this problem, but it doesn't get any real bite either. Now watch the new Chevrolet dig in. And even with all its extra power, the new Chevrolet uses less gas than either Ford or Plymouth at every cruising speed. Surprising, isn't it? Better gas economy at 30 miles per hour, right on up to 70 miles per hour. But it's not really surprising. Every proving ground torque measuring device shows that the new Chevrolet, at every speed from zero on up, develops more effective road power than Ford or Plymouth. And for your prospects, this means more enjoyable power. Thrilling response at the start, surer response for the pass. More dependable power. The power to go wherever you want to go. And more efficient and economical power. Exactly the power you need when you need it. In every driving test, on the flat straightaway or up the steepest grade, the new Chevrolet completely outperforms Ford and Plymouth in both power and economy, in both V8 and six-cylinder performance. Talk about horsepower. Why? It's torque that really talks.